uh, the sum of the eigenvalues. Okay, so there is a close connection or a, appears to be a close connection between the diagonal entries of a matrix and the eigenvalues. What is the precise relationship between these two or can we be a bit more specific? Other than saying that they are both real valued and they have the same sum, can we be more specific about the relationship between these two sets of real, real numbers? Okay, and this uh, notion is what is called majorization. Okay, so we'll define this notion now. By the way, the word majorization also appears in the context of um, uh, optimization, but that's a different notion. Don't get confused. This is a notion of majorization that we are defining here in linear algebra. OK, so let alpha in R to the N and beta in R to the N be given. If their elements are arranged in increasing order meaning that alpha j1 less than or equal to alpha j2 less than or equal to less than or equal to alpha jn. So these are the indices where the j1 is the index in alpha for which uh, the corresponding entry in alpha has the smallest value. And jn is the index for an entry in alpha where the corresponding entry of alpha has the largest value. And similarly beta, so beta say m1 less than or equal to beta m2 less than or equal to beta m n and if the summation i equal to 1 to k beta m i is greater than or equal to sigma i equal to 1 to k alpha j i for every k equal to 1, 2, up to n. And if equality is satisfied at k equal to n, then beta is said to majorize alpha. OK, so basically the vector beta majorizes alpha is in the sense that it's we say that beta is you know kind of greater than or equal to alpha. If the sum, sum of the k smallest entries in beta is greater than or equal to the uh, sum of the k smallest entries in alpha, and this holds for k equal to 1, 2, all the way up to n minus 1. And the sum of the entries are equal. So for example, this vector, say 1, 2, 3, 4, majorizes 0, 1, 2, 7. OK, so this number is bigger than this number. 1 plus 2 is 3 is bigger than 0, 0 plus 1. 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 is greater than 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 2, which is 3. But the sum of all these guys is 10, and the sum of all these guys is also equal to 10. So equality is met when you add up all the entries together. But I don't need these to have been arranged in increasing order like this. If I had written it like this, 4, 3, say 1, 2, this majorizes. And I don't need this to have been written in increasing order. 1, 2, 7, 0. I can write it like this also. So these two vectors. But of course, it's possible that two vectors 
that have the same sum still don't majorize each other. Uh, this is a very special structure. Not all vectors can be ordered like this. OK, so this is the notion of majorization. So we have the following result. So A is in C to the N cross N and Hermitian. Then the vector of diagonal entries of A majorizes the vector of eigenvalues of A. That means that if I take the smallest diagonal entry of A, that will still be greater than or equal to the smallest eigenvalue of A. If I take the sum of the two smallest diagonal entries of A, that will be greater than or equal to the sum of the two smallest eigenvalues of A and so on. Now, uh, so let's quickly prove this. So you can see this is a very interesting and again what I consider a very, very counterintuitive result that you will be able to find such a very interesting relationship between the diagonal entries of a matrix and the eigenvalues of a matrix. OK, so the proof goes by induction. OK, so induction meaning we'll look at the size of the matrix and, in, and use induction over the size of the matrix. Of course, when I take n equals 1, the if you take a scalar that's equal to the diagonal entry, it's also equal to the eigenvalue, and so there's nothing to prove. Okay, now suppose this result holds. for all matrices of size k cross k and k going up to n minus 1. And now we need to show that the result holds for uh, k equal to n. Okay, now we need to show that this result holds for n. So let uh, A be an n cross n matrix. Be a given matrix. Okay, now consider the matrix A1, which is obtained by deleting a row and column. And for A1, this result holds by our induction hypothesis. Now, how do I get A1? I get it, uh, or I get it by we obtained by deleting the row and column. Oh, corresponding to the largest diagonal. So I find out which is the largest diagonal entry of A and that row and column I delete and I call the matrix A1. So now if you are fleet footed, you are already seeing how this proof will go. So now the A1 is obtained by deleting a row and column, and so we'll use the interlacing result. Okay, so let um, lambda 1 less than or equal to less than or equal to lambda n be the eigenvalues of A, and lambda dash 1 
less than or equal to lambda dash n minus 1 be the eigenvalues of a1. Now, um, by the induction hypothesis, okay, first of all, let's say a i1 i1 less than or equal to a i2 i2 less than or equal to etc. less than or equal to a i n i n be the diagonal entries of a. Okay, and basically we've obtained A1 by deleting the row, uh, the IN, IN row and column of the matrix A. Now, by the induction hypothesis, um, summation I equal to one to K, A, I, J, Ij. So the diagonal entries arranged in increasing order of the matrix A is the same as the diagonal entries of the matrix A1 arranged in increasing order. So I can write A, Ij, Ij here. This is greater than or equal to sigma j equal to 1 to k lambda dash j. And this is true for k equal to 1 through n minus 1. So this is just directly from the induction hypothesis. Now, from the interlacing theorem, we have that lambda one is less than or equal to lambda one dash, is less than or equal to lambda two, less than or equal to lambda two dash, less than or equal to etc up to lambda dash n minus one is less than or equal to lambda n. Okay, so that means that if I'm taking the first k guys here, okay, instead if I add up lambda one through lambda k, I'll get a, each of these lambda one dash is greater than or equal to lambda one, lambda two dash is greater than or equal to lambda two and so on. So I can write sigma j equal to 1 to k lambda dash j is greater than or equal to sigma j equal to 1 to k lambda k lambda j and this is true for k equal to 1 all the way up to n minus 1 and so this inequality continues to hold with lambda j this summation j equal to 1 to k lambda j sitting here So sigma j equal to 1 to k a i j i j is greater than or equal to sigma j equal to 1 to k lambda j. And this is true for k equal to 1 through n minus 1. But equality certainly holds because the trace equals the sum of the eigenvalues. So that's it. So basically the, so what we've shown is that the vector of diagonal entries of a matrix A majorizes the vector of eigenvalues of a matrix A and this uh, we use this interlacing property you know it's an, it's an essential ingredient in showing such results. Now um, majorization is actually very useful in expressing the relationship between the eigenvalues of uh, the sum of a matrix and the individual components. So for example uh, if you recall We've seen results like um, uh, lambda k of A plus lambda 1 of B is less than or equal to lambda k of A plus B is less than or equal to lambda k of A plus lambda n of B. So the kth eigenvalue of the matrix A plus B is at least equal to the kth eigenvalue of A plus the smallest eigenvalue of B and at most equal to the kth eigenvalue of A plus the largest eigenvalue of B. 
And if B is positive semi-definite, then this is non-negative. So we have lambda K of A is less than or equal to lambda K of A plus B. And we also have that lambda J plus K minus N of A plus B is less than or equal to lambda J of A plus lambda K of B. So these are some results that we have seen earlier. So, um, so in this context, we have uh, two more results that I'm just going to state because we don't have time to do the proofs right now. But uh, uh, these are results that talk about uh, majorization type relationships between eigenvalues of the summands to the eigenvalues of the sum of the of two matrices. So the first result is the following. So A, B are N cross N Hermitian symmetric matrices. So let lambda of A be a vector, okay? And its entries are lambda I of A. And lambda of B be another vector whose entries are lambda I of B. Okay, and similarly, lambda of A plus B is a vector with lambda I of A plus B as its entries. And uh, so these denote column vectors in R to the N with components equal to the eigenvalues of A, B and A plus B arranged in increasing order. Okay, this is very important. Okay, they are arranged in increasing order. Then the vector lambda of A plus B majorizes lambda of A plus lambda of B. Okay, and so that's one result. Um, so it talks about a, a more precise relationship between the eigenvalues of A plus B and the eigenvalues of A and the eigenvalues of B. But what you have to do is to arrange the eigenvalues of A and B in increasing order and then add them together. Then this vector of eigenvalues of A arranged in increasing order majorizes the vector of lambda of A plus lambda B. Okay, then we also have the following converse result. So let n be at least equal to 1 and let a1 less than or equal to a2 less than or equal to up to a n and lambda 1 less than or equal to lambda 2 lambda n. So imagine that these are some diagonal entries and these are some eigenvalues and suppose that this uh, this vector majorizes uh, the vector lambda which has lambda i as its entries, then there exists a real symmetric matrix
a equal to a i j being its entries in r to the n cross n such that a i i equal to a i i equal to 1 to n so it has a i as its diagonal entries and lambda i is the set of eigenvalues of a so given a set of numbers um, real numbers which uh, where one vec one set of real numbers majorizes the other set of real numbers then you can find a matrix a such that the uh, the vector a are the uh, contains uh, 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 the vector a forms diagonal entries of this matrix and the vector lambda forms the eigenvalues of this matrix okay so there's always such a matrix that you can find so that's all i wanted to say today um, we'll uh, continue on monday